Hi, I'm Michael Kusters. Today I want to talk with you about the relationship between trust and customer satisfaction in an organization. Um, I'll be using causal loop diagrams for the modeling. Just follow me. So I'll go on to explain while I'm doing it. So what is the first step? We start with the variables trust and customer satisfaction. What is their relationship? I'll be using red lines to indicate an opposite relationship. That means more equals less. And blue lines to indicate positive relationship, which means more equals more. So just start here. Um, now, what does trust lead to? Let's start with uh, what does low trust lead to? Um, People working in a low trust environment, they tend to have high fear and uh, high fear tends to result in low trust. So there's a bi-directional relationship of a negative form, so a red line. So more trust means less fear, more fear means less trust, less trust means more fear. Now, what does fear in the working environment lead to next? That's avoidance. People tend to avoid difficult interactions. They will rather not talk to one another, not be transparent about what they're doing, rather not get into situations where they could potentially get in trouble. So more fear means more avoidance. Now, how does avoidance affect trust? When you don't know what your coworkers are doing, you tend to trust them less. So the more avoidance behaviors you see, the less trust you see within your organization. Then we get into the result of avoidance. When you don't know what your coworkers are doing, you usually get surprised and that kind of surprise is not nice. So what are you going to do? you're gonna blame them. So more avoidance results in more blaming going on in your organization. When people get blamed, they're looking for a way to not get blamed. So they will display what I call the SIA behavior, which basically means collecting proof evidence that when something went wrong, it's not my fault, it's somebody else's fault. That is not helpful for the organizations, but very helpful for the individual to avoid getting blamed. More SEA behaviors result in less trust within the organization. So we've got a loop going on here. So those are all kinds of negative behaviors, but this is not what you're looking in an organization for. Organization pretty much uh, depends on how much time people spend doing what I would call real work, stuff that advances the company. So how does all of this above here affect the time to do real work? Since it's all in a loop around here, it's sufficient to focus on one variable and that is the amount of time spent with SEA behaviors hanging around in meetings, finding somebody who's responsible, sending out emails with lots of CCs, engaging in other people's email chains, and documenting stuff just to make sure that nobody will get back at you. That doesn't help the company, so it's not time to do real work. And the more time you spend doing that, the less time you have to do real work. And when you don't have so much time to do real work, you produce very little stuff that is of value. And when you have a lot of time to do real work, technically you'll probably be producing more value. So there's a kind of positive relationship between time to do real work and delivering value. Now, what do customers say about value? If you're getting value, you tend to be happy. So there's another positive relationship. More value means more happy customers. And when customers are happy, 
they don't really care so much what you're doing so they tend to be more trustful so more trust from the customer typically leads to the people within the organization also being more trustful towards one another it's not a guarantee but it tends to go like that at least i can guarantee you if the customer is unhappy then people will always be looking for who's caused it and that results in a reduction of trust so while the positive relationship more satisfied to more is not guaranteed i can guarantee you that a less is less behavior works out so that's what you want to look out for now that we've explored the basics of the model i want to explore what i call feedback loops or reinforcement loops first one i would like to get into is how does trust affect trust now more trust means you'll have less fear or less trust means you'll have more fear more fear leads to more avoidance which leads to less trust so low trust means it just tends to get worse high trust means you don't need to be afraid and you don't need to avoid so you can have even more trust so this trust you have what i call a positive reinforcement loop more to leads to more or less leads to less which means that once you get into a low trust situation you're stuck into a vicious circle now the second dynamic i want to explore is blaming how does blame work out to have more blame means people try to spend more time in seer behaviors seer behaviors don't lead to people trusting each other more so they'll be even more afraid oh i don't have enough proof i should avoid the communication until i have something that makes sure that i won't need the blame and the result is that if I don't have enough proof that I'm not blamed, I will be blamed even more. So as soon as we get into blaming, we have another positive reinforcement loop. So blame is a second reinforcement cycle in here. Now Sia is somehow following the same kind of logic. About customer satisfaction, it tends to be like, uh, yeah, customers are not happy, so they want progress report they want more frequency update they want to know what's going on they don't trust so much and since we already know that trust leads to all these kind of negative behaviors means there'll be less time to do real work less time for value customers will be even less happy so we have another positive reinforcement cycle in the sense that um, Unhappy customers tend to be more unhappy over time and happy customers tend to be more happy over time. So after exploring those feedback loops, I'll just close the big loops real quick. Trust leads to customer satisfaction and vice versa. Customer satisfaction leads to trust. So we have in the big loop another reinforcement cycle. To wrap this one up you want to detect and resolve whether your organization has issues with fear with avoidance with blame or whether you see seer behaviors when you know that they are there you should work to resolve them if you're successful at resolving them, you will actually get more trust and more customer satisfaction. And this is why it's so important to close this one, create an environment of trust, get rid of fear, avoidance, blaming, seer, and you will be more successful as an organization. Now, thanks for listening. Michael signing off. Till next time. See ya. Bye bye.